everyone, my name is Evie Lupine. Welcome back to my channel and today I have another video for you all. Today we are going to be reviewing the new Swacom Nymph Vibrator. Now full disclosure before I get into today's video, I was sent this vibrator in exchange for a review. However, I am not otherwise monetarily making any sort of money off of this video. I am not being paid to say anything about this toy. There are no affiliate links, discount codes, nada. This is going to be strictly my opinion, what I honestly think about this toy and hopefully you guys know this by now but just to make sure that everybody is aware i am not being paid to say anything in particular about this toy now i have reviewed swacom toys in the past i actually own two other vibrators from them one is a warming wand style vibrator and one is a warming butt plug vibrator so i do generally like swacom toys i find that they're usually made out of high quality materials they're rechargeable, they work well, and they're definitely innovators when it comes to different styles of vibrators. I had never seen a warming vibrator before. I had actually seen these ones from Swacom, and now they are innovating again thanks to this new toy, which you can probably tell from the packaging has a very interesting sort of octopus or squid-like design. It has this bulbous head up here, and it has these three fingers down here. And I'm gonna be getting more into the functionality of this toy soon. But first, I just wanna get some basic facts about this toy out of the way, because I think they are important to know. You can actually find most of them on the back of the packaging here if you do end up purchasing it. But the big things to know, one, this toy is made out of a combination of silicone and a body safe ABS. So this is made out of good high quality body safe materials. Two, this is a waterproof toy, so you can use it in the shower or in the tub if you like. And I think for the style of vibration that this gives, this is definitely a toy that you would probably really enjoy using in the bathtub or in the shower if that is your jam. And three, this is a rechargeable toy that kind of goes with why it's waterproof, but it has a charging time of 40 minutes and it roughly lasts about an hour and a half on the charge. Now the weird thing that I did see on the back of this packaging is that it lists different times from what it does on the website for charging and for use. So I'm not really sure what all of that <laughs> is about exactly, but I would say at least for me, when I was charging it, it does take about 40 minutes to charge and then roughly about an hour of use when you're using it on the higher settings. But the use time is very much up to your individual use preference because Obviously, higher power means more battery usage. Now let's go ahead and get into the actual packaging of this toy. This is actually an outer sleeve. And when you pop it off, you get this nice white box. It says Swalcom on it. It's not very obvious that this is a sex toy. It actually kind of reminds me of like some of the jewelry packaging that I've seen where it's like maybe this is like a necklace or like a nice bracelet or something. So if you have like nosy roommates or family members or even like pets that like to get into things, this is something that's gonna keep your toy nice and secure. When you open up the box, you will see there's a nice little inset where you can see the toy. So I think this is definitely good for long-term storage, but when you take all of this stuff out, because there's like layers to keep this little toy safe, especially while in transit, you take everything out, and then on the inside, there will be all of the warranty information, the charger, and just some other little bits and pieces of things you might want to know about the toy. So the charging port is just a standard USB charger, and then this little almost like headphone jack looking thing. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Just like a standard almost headphone jack looking thing. Now what I found really interesting about this toy is normally I am very <laughs> critical of waterproof vibrators where I can actually see the charging port. It actually took me a good long time to figure out, okay, where am I supposed to plug this in at? Now if you look very closely, right there, there's a little teeny weeny little hole. And I don't know how to do this, but you just like, Put it right in there. And I don't know, this is like some wizardry. I don't know how they do this. <laughs> Just like how, like, I don't know. Like it, it go like, 
it just it looks so clean and it's so small so i know for sure that that is definitely going to be able to keep water out i'm pretty confident and as well they do also give you uh, this little gray bag that you can put the toy in again good if you have anybody who's nosy in your life that you don't want them to know that you own sex toys as well the particular style of silicone they use in this toy is very velvety it's very soft and i think for a lot of people that particular style is enjoyable but it attracts every piece of lint and dog hair and just everything. If you leave it out, if you leave it on the bed, the nightside table, if you leave it on the bed, the nightstand table, whatever it is, this is going to collect any piece of dust that is on it. So if you want to prevent that from happening, put it in the bag, store it, forget about it. It won't get that same amount of lint on it, hopefully. Now, when it comes to things that are compatible with this toy, generally speaking, you are going to want to use a water-based lube rather than a silicone-based lube. I've heard sort of mixed things about if silicone lube is actually dangerous for silicone toys. I think it depends on the types of silicone. So I personally wouldn't risk it. I would use a water-based lube with this. Now, when it comes to the actual toy itself, as you can see, it's about roughly the size of my hand here. So it's definitely very handheld, very portable, potentially good for travel if you're into that. When it comes to the actual functionality of this particular toy, this head up here vibrates separately from the bottom part of the toy. These actually have two separate functions. This one is like a standard vibrating wand head. It has five intensity levels no differences in patterns if you are a pattern person be aware this has no patterns the bottom has three different intensity levels as far as i've been able to figure out i can't make them work both at the same time although it is very easy to switch between the two of them so i don't think that's going to be a difference now i'm going to go ahead and get into actually showing you guys how loud these vibrator functions are i found in general the head of the toy was pretty quiet until you got to the most intense level of five. And then the finger ones, simply because they're also rotating, have more of a mechanical noise. So they are definitely going to be a lot more loud. Uh, I think this in general will be good for a situation where you're not like somebody's roommate, where you're literally sharing a bedroom, but maybe you have like a shared wall or you're living in an apartment where like there's just no insulation. I think that would be good for dull whisper settings let's say instead of like completely quiet but that the actual way to turn on the vibrator is with these two buttons they are very hard to see there is a little bit of texture there if you're trying to feel around for it this top one activates the head the bottom one activates the bottom and basically what we do is you just long hold and it'll turn on one two three four and five definitely four and five are the loudest and this is really really buzzy i can actually feel this in my hands the other one's not as much but definitely five is very intense on the hands so here's one you can see it's vibrating around and it's also moving at the same time there's two And then there is three. So the reason why I wanted to review this toy is because of the finger movements up here. I've never seen anything like this before. I think generally the market and who would enjoy this toy the most is going to be people who enjoy manual stimulation and don't have a lot of other experience with intense vibrators and especially with external vibrator stimulation. I found that in general, this did not necessarily replicate in exactly the same way what manual stimulation feels like, but I think it's more something along those same lines that has a different feel to it. So it's not trying to literally feel like fingers. It is just along those same lines and sort of similar, but because it's a vibrator, definitely more intense in that way. Now, for me personally, when it comes to using this on my genital area, I have a VCH piercing, which means that I have a piercing that goes through my clitoral hood. So for me, if I was trying to use this toy with how it rotates around that area of my body, 
it would literally just like twist in the piercing and it would not be pleasurable. So I did not use this toy that way, although I think the primary focus of this toy is to be able to put the clitoris through it and be able to have it stimulated in that function. What I did instead is I would have it around my outer labia, my, my general vulva area, and I found that to be nice foreplay, a good warm up, and a very unique sensation. I did also try it out on my nipples, and it was sort of a similar experience to around my piercings. I have piercings there as well, sort of a twisting thing, not super pleasant. But if you're somebody who doesn't have piercings, in that area, I think if you enjoy nipple play, this could be an interesting twist on that. And if you're using nipple clamps with this, in addition, depending on the style of the clamp, uh, and I'm trying to think of maybe like a, like a tweezer clamp or something like that, using this in addition to that could make it more intense and could make for a new sort of nipple clamp experience. As well, I do like to look at things from sort of a, a BDSM perspective. And the other way that I like this toy and that I thought would be a good use for it is just sensation play in general because I find that it has a very unique sensation, has a unique noise to it, a sort of unique feel along the skin. And I think if you're somebody who enjoys kind of using unusual toys, using this, uh, you know, along the neck, using it for tickling, even on maybe the bottoms of the feet, running it up somebody's side, this could be a very interesting and again, a unique experience, a unique toy that I think some people would find a lot of pleasure out of using that way. Now, when it comes to the more traditional side, the wand vibrator side, I find that it is definitely not as intense, not as powerful as say the Doxy 3 that I own because that is not rechargeable. It is a very powerful plug-in vibrator. So that is getting the most amount of power of pretty much any electric <laughs> toy that you're going to have. However, I think for the class of toys that this is a part of, for rechargeable toys, this is actually quite powerful. In general, my issue with rechargeable toys and rechargeable vibrators is that they can feel really intense up top, but then as soon as you put them against the skin, they kind of dissipate and they actually don't feel as intense because of how superficial the the vibrations are because they're so buzzy this is definitely more of a buzzy style vibrator it is still definitely superficial but because of the fact that this head is flexible but it is still firm against the skin at the same time it actually does retain a lot of the power when held against the skin now for me because i am used to the more intense vibrators like the doxy and because i also do not stimulate my my clitoris directly i actually go below and I stimulate more of the vulva area in general. This is not something that I was using in order to achieve orgasm. I could maybe do it on the very, very top vibrator setting but because that gets so buzzy that it's actually vibrating almost the whole toy. That would probably just make my hands numb. So I found that this worked best either in conjunction with something that was penetrative as foreplay, as like a cool down toy if maybe I had already achieved orgasm with a more intense toy and I used this one after. That is really where I found the use for this toy. I think the market for this, people who are going to enjoy it are people who maybe haven't tried a rechargeable vibrator before that haven't had anything with this sort of head on it, people who enjoy manual stimulation. I think if you are somebody in one of those categories, you are going to get more use out of this rather than somebody who has a lot of other uh, toys in their toy basket. I think as well this is also a good toy for partner play. I know the powdered pink color is not personally my favorite especially if I'm asking a partner to use it. <laughs> uh, but besides that I think this is unintimidating. I know a lot of for some reason um, cis men have like issues or fears are in using vibrators and feeling inadequate but this is is small it's not intimidating it's not very loud i think this is going to be a good toy to use with a partner potentially this is something that you could also use on on various uh, uh like the penis or the balls you might be able to use it somewhere around there i personally have not tried it that way but i wouldn't necessarily count it out it could be an enjoyable sensation with somebody for that equipment and this definitely as well i i know several people who enjoy using the sort of diffused wand style vibrations on the shaft of a penis or on the balls or somewhere around that general area. And I think it's easy for somebody to hold and use it a par on a partner, particularly if they're using this end because this part right here makes a really nice little handle and you can just go like this 
and run it along somebody's skin, their vulva, their thighs, their wherever. So overall, would I recommend this toy? I think yes, I would for the right person. It is definitely not like the be all and all vibrator that's going to work for absolutely anybody. Again, somebody who's newer to using toys, somebody who enjoys manual stimulation, somebody who enjoys mixing this with sort of like sensation play, nipple stimulation, those sorts of things could also get a lot of pleasure out of this toy. But if you were somebody who already has a lot of power in their uh, you know bedside table, let's say, this is maybe not going to be the toy for you. Also, the price point is something to consider. It retails for, I think, $110, $109. So it is a more expensive toy. Rechargeable toys are more expensive, but they will last you for a lot longer and you won't have to buy batteries, so keep that in mind. However, one of the reasons why I like Swacom and why I like the places that sell this brand is it very, very oftentimes goes on sale, there's coupon codes, and around the holiday season, make sure you are looking out for you know 20% off, 50% off coupons. I would reasonably think you might be able to find this somewhere between the $70 and $80 range. So that is the Swacom Nymph. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please let me know. I would be happy to answer any other questions you guys have about the toy as well. Links down below to some stores that sell it if you're interested in trying it out for yourself. If you like these sorts of videos, if you wanna see more sex toy reviews, please let me know. I love getting to have feedback from you guys and seeing what sort of videos like you'd like to see more from me. So definitely leave those comments below. If you haven't already and you like this video, please do subscribe and make videos twice a week. And finally, if you like this video, please consider going to my Patreon. That is what makes videos like this possible. That is what allows me to make more videos, better videos, better filming equipment, all that sort of stuff. So if you haven't already, please check it out. There's tons of exclusive perks and rewards. And if you already support me, thank you so, so much. It means the world to me. And until I see you guys next time, hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Bye-bye. Thank you.